I'm happy to share with you whatever all the luminaries in this audience had envisaged a few years back that is being put into practice. And this year we have shifted certain departments like a full fledged department of pediatric surgery. Then other departments also have been independently set up. And that was a vision that our ex HODs of this department had so many years back. So a big round of applause for all the faculty of the Department of Pediatrics. They have worked very hard in shaping up this department. This is a general appreciation and the compliments to all those who had the vision to set up this 500 bedded children hospital where every uh, subspeciality that has been set up is getting a place to grow. Uh, today's CME again as I can see that lots of uh, academic deliberations must have gone and must be still laughing for dwelling into the intricacies of pediatric gastroenterology and uh, I'm sure all the deliberations in this conference will prove to be an academic feast and all of you will enjoy it and put it in practice in patient care and uh, I wish the conference a great success. Thank you. The department is now <coughs> being served by Professor Abdul Sami and Dr. Isaac Malik and they are doing it in addition to their duties in the units. So I thank them for all for whatever they are doing here in our limited setup and, and they are doing it wonderfully well, I tell you. There were disorders we, we never thought of before. You know, all of us know upper GI bleed and lower GI bleeding, you know, bubble cell disease and autoimmune hepatitis. We were not knowing of perfect exist in our society. And you will be surprised to know it is the problems of familiar intrahepatic cholestasis with type 2 which is seen in our children. I think other places there are different types, but in Kashmir it's type 2 which is very common. And, and, and newer, newer metabolic disorders are coming up and we are able to diagnose them because of the efforts of our pediatric gastroenterology unit. I congratulate them and thank them and thank you all for being here today. Thank you. It's always a homecoming when you visit this place. And this vision was born long back when there was ward 8 just a 20-bedded ward in SMHS hospital and that vision was envisaged by our teachers, the teachers of teachers whom we need to pay a lot of tribute Professor Manhas, Professor Sethi, Professor Rana, Dr. Altaf a lot many of those seniors who had a vision of de-associating from that hospital and getting a 200 bedded hospital near our uh, uh, government LD hospital. So that was the first vision and that vision was carried forward by the next generation and we landed up in GP Pant hospital. Then further we wanted to grow big because pediatricians are taking care of 52% of population. So you, we always wanted to go big, not only big, but then split into specialities, the sub-specialities. The, that was the time when people like Dr. Nazir, Dr. Gulam Rasool, Professor Dr. Farooq, these were the people who always pushed this point of having a big hospital, not only a big hospital with specialities. So I think it would not have been possible even to imagine this big hospital sometime back. It was possible only because of this effort from all of these people. Thank you.